Braga asks, I'm an indie music producer. What tips do you have to promo my content using social media marketing? Draga, what's up? You're back and I respect that. You're in episode one and two. You one day will be a trivia question. So the question is, look, you're an indie guy, you're trying to promote. I'm actually gonna move the mic to Steve. He's not even expecting this. Go there, go there. Do you have the sound? Yeah, or yeah, you're good right. with that? You, the, yeah, the camera's yeah, got its yeah, own sound? Yeah. Go ahead, you say what you just said to me. So Draga, I looked at your Twitter account and you posted a remix of a Rihanna track eight times in the last 24 hours, since we aired the last episode of the show, actually. That's a little bit overwhelming, Draga. Now, a couple things. I think the thing to really think about is listening. I was actually clicking, and that's why I got focused. I don't know what he was doing there, but he was replying to somebody. I like the replying in Twitter. That's a tactic. Look, here's, here's what I think it's all about. The quality of the music matters. Building up your SoundCloud matters. How does one do that? One of the ways to really do that is to become old school in some ways. Believe it or not, I'm gonna go left field on you. How about some music message boards, but not spamming them, becoming a part of that community. How about searching every single person that tweeted about Rihanna, Steve, pull it up. Every single person who tweeted about Rihanna, let me guess, but I'm gonna think it's a shitload. Right, and so in that shitload, jumping in and engaging with those people. Now you gotta go spend a lot of time. You decided to do a Rihanna remix, not me. So that means you gotta go through it and it's gonna take you a couple hours because everybody's gonna be tweeting like, Rihanna's hot, fuck Rihanna, all that stuff. And you're gonna have to find the people that are actually talking about Rihanna's music, which I don't know, probably a small percentage of what's going on on Twitter. You gotta jump into that and engage with it authentically. Engaging, and you've heard the 19 year old dude move, is not saying, check out my track. You've gotta just kind of you know, jam with people. I would recommend if you're jamming people, and jamming with people, not jamming. If you're jamming with people, during that period, changing the URL in your Twitter profile to be a direct link to the Rihanna track. That's right folks, that was a tactic and that's why Ask Gary V is gonna be a big time show. If you're deciding to do something specific for a two day period, like Draga should, around engaging people around Rihanna's music that actually talk about the music, I recommend he changes his Twitter profile's URL from his probably homepage or whatever he's got going on to the actual link to the SoundCloud of that show because while he's engaging, people are gonna be like, who the hell's Draga? Let me click this link in his URL. Boom, they're listening to that. The viral loop gets going. The viral loop gets going.